Hello everyone, welcome to episode 4 of Mechanim tutorial series, although I'm still not uh, reaching to the point that I can go into Unity and show you the awesomeness of Mechanim. But as I promised you, in this episode we will take a look at motion capture file cleaning. If you are not using a predefined, pre-cleaned uh, package that had done the job for you, and if you are a serious game developer, then you would go into an studio and ask for uh, recording your own motion capture files for the games. Well, guess what? All the animations that you had seen in those three previous episodes was cleaned drastically because I worked with motion capture devices and I know that uh, none of them will give you a very clean result. The file that we are looking today is not a motion capture file to be honest but uh, it's a file that has uh, problems just because uh, the guy who had made it uh, decided that you know what instead of 30 frame per second I want it to be 24 uh, frame, uh, frame per seconds and bam they are all jerkiness and etc but uh, most of the things that you see in this file is the same in motion capture files now if you look into motion capture data and devices let me open a file for you so if I want to show you motion capture devices motion capture device uh, before it's loaded let me tell you that motion capture devices uh, are uh, branched into two different uh, systems uh, one is this guy and uh, again connect system is new and what else do we have uh we So, as you see, one this guy is the most new system of motion capture, and uh, to be honest, I never tried it, but it seems that it will work the best because these red things that you see are gyro uh, sensors, but uh, there is another way of doing motion captures, and it's optical motion captures if I get uh, let me go to the first page because there was a wiki there so uh, yeah as you can see you can even mocap uh, get your mocap with Kinect uh, cameras, but I never tried it. I don't know if the result would be clean or not. There is also even uh, some software for that. Now, this is the optical motion capture system, but the best would be here if I see it. Yep, yeah, as I see, the optical system needs you to dress a suit and on that suit uh, there will be some blobs and the cameras would track those blobs and then you would put it in 
files like, like motion builder actors, then transfer it on your characters. Another one is the uh, uh, extensions that I showed you. You can even put your own dresses on top of it and go into a park, do exercises, and no one will know that you are motion capturing the data. Now, uh, as you can see, this is the optical motion capture. Uh, there are a bunch of cameras all around the character, these guys, that are capturing these blobs. Each camera would see only part of these blobs. For example, a camera that is looking at the front won't see any of these blobs at the back of the character or actor. And uh, in contrast, the camera that is looking from the behind won't see the blobs in front. Now, optical motion capture has two major problems. One, it's restricted. You only can move inside this circle. That's one. Second, in some complex motions, uh, blobs would get near each other. For example, here the head blob and the hand blob is close to each other and the mocap uh, software would switch from this blob to this blob and track this blob for the head or vice versa. It would track this blob for hand. So there would be jumpiness and jerkiness in your motion capture data. Or when two foots are uh, moving from close to each other. But uh, in X sense, that wouldn't be the problem. But maybe the, I didn't try it. I really can't say anything about this guy. But uh, I think that gyro sensors would put a little jitteriness in itself. But as you can see, you can do very complex data because uh, there, there is nothing... Let me take this guy. There is nothing to... Open image, new tab, please. Yeah, there is nothing to restrict you because this sensor and the sensor on race that is now close to the sheen are different parts and uh, you see a tape here Th that those tapes are connected to each sensor and no matter how much these sensors are, are close to each other uh, those tapes would send data separately so that's an advantage of this system but as I said I didn't try it now let's go back to our own project uh, let me tell you that once I worked with a motion capture system that was using magnet uh, tapes uh, near your legs and hands and it was dependent on the pressure of foot let me zoom in come on it would uh, depend the, uh, the position of hip depending on the pressure of your foot on the shoe from the device. Now, you can imagine when you would sit down, there wouldn't be any pressures on these guys. So the hip bone would jump high in the Y axis, even hundreds of units, and then come back and jitter around all the place. Uh, so that would show you to choose your device very wisely. But this guy is not motion captured, but has problems. And I will show you some of the ways that you can clean your motion capture files here. So let's, uh, I won't play the animation because sometimes we miss the uh, jerkiness. So I will scrub. The first jerkiness is around frame 130. Look at the right hand and shoulder. Oh, we passed it. Here we go. Look what, ha what, what happens. What is that? What is that? Come on. 
Let's take a look. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, this is something that happens. It can happen on magnet systems. <clears throat> Even optical systems can have this problem. As you can see, it's all jerky there. No jerkiness anymore. Let me... I'll make my thumb line a bit bigger. Where is the okay? And no problem yet. Not yet. Nothing yet. Uh, I hate when it freezes and makes my job hard. There should be a jerkiness somewhere around here on the head. I'm not sure I didn't capture it. Anyway, now the character is going to run, but look at his, look at his right wrist. Why it's doing this weird wavy motion? Yeah, there's a problem there. Again, those wavy motions on the hand. Uh, what else do we have? Again, wavy, wavy wrist. Come on. Again, that right hand has all sort of problems on running. And here we go, a nice one. Head, whoa, whoa, whoa. And the character is going for backward motion now, I think. And believe it or not, the amount of freezes on motion builder is Again, I think I captured, yeah, a twist on the hand, right hand twist. Motion capture freezes a lot when I'm recording. So anything else? Yeah, here we go. One of the most uh, problematic things that I had seen in this file is Hand, head, wrist, everything's jumpy. And his wrist. Sorry, I should say hair, but I'm calling it his. And uh, here we go, another one of those, come on, 
bad jerkiness. Here we go. The weird things that happen. And strafing, but look at her wrist. It's all twisted around. And what else do we get here? Did I capture an, or, an, an error on her? Let me. Yeah. Left hand twist now. Again. Some weird twisting there. Motion capture freezes a lot. Having fun with me. Come on, come on, come on! I would be happy when I go back to Unity from Motion Builder. You you see another twist there. Hand twist, all kind of twists on this part. And he's switching back to strafing right. She is switching, sorry. Again, hand, wrist, twists. And remember, it's not even motion capture file. It's just a keyframed animation and then uh, using Maya's squeezing system uh, they squeezed the animation in timeline and these jerkiness happened inside Maya. Let's uh, scrub and see what we have it again. Come on, motion builder, please. Ah! Oof. There we go, another jerk on her shoulder. On her wrist. The wrist again, hand again. Look at his hand. He is, he is, he is her. She has some things that makes her girl, you know? Anyway, again her hand, now now look at the feet, oh god, oh gosh, hand, hands, hand, 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 so uh, I think there is no point in showing you more. There are all kind of jerkiness on her body parts. Now, as you remember, the first one we found was on frame 131. Let me show you what's going on here. Um, if we go into X-ray mode, and I select one of the... Uh, oh, oh, wait she's following another character and that character is this guy okay uh those of you who follow 3d buzz may know her as shanna or shannon but if i select her upper arm you'll see only we have two keyframes so this keyframe is okay this keyframe is okay so what's the problem uh, going one more on top. Oh, look. Here we have two keyframes. Two keyframes. Two keyframes. Did I select two bones? No. We only selected one bone. So what's going on? Again, even this keyframe is okay. So what's the deal here? Um, 
you will understand it when you look at F curves, okay? And this is by the way rotation X of that bone. You see a keyframe here with value of negative uh, 0 0.08 and it drops again to something like negative 359.96. In other words, both of them are near zero. So at the start and at the end of the jerkness, you wouldn't see any problems there. Okay? So what causes this problem? This jump. It's uh, in computer words, it's a full rotation from zero to 359 in negative direction. So you have two ways of cleaning this one and I'll show you both. First, select all of these, delete. Now if I scrub, you won't see any jerkiness again. So we solved that problem, okay? That's one way of doing it. But there is another way of doing it too. Um, I think that one will help a lot because um, we are working in Motion Builder. If you don't work in Motion Builder, then you have to go and find all of this jerkiness all around the character, you know. It's hard, but you should do something like this, this, go on, here we go, one more, one more, one more, one more, oh, 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 woof, and you will understand what's going on, okay? But we have Motion Builder. Now, in Motion Builder, uh, there are two things that you can do. One is using filters. For example, we can uh, select a bone, I think, and say, hey, you know what? We want to reduce the keyframes. Or uh, we want to smooth keyframe interpolations. We can do all that stuff. But what I do most of the time when I see these kind of rotational pr problems is that I select my main character and I use the bake and control rig and now let's see hey where did it go I don't have any jerkiness again not anymore yeah we solved the issue just by plotting on control rigs because um Motion Builder is very, very wise on plotting on characters. So let's take a look at this character again and scrub very fast from here to the end and let's see if we have any other problems. As you can see, the hand I should solve there Come on. Well, the most time that I have crashed or uh, locking the motion builder is when I scrub the timeline and the viewport is updated. That's a hundred percent about my video card, but my video card is updated, you know. So, we still have that egg pro uh, leg problem here, but most of the jerkiness on hands and even head is solved. For example, here. Yeah, it's solved. 
Hooray! So, uh, now to solve that leg issue, let me find it where it was. Here we go. So, here to somewhere around here. Now, let's take a look at her leg again. Yeah, it's exactly between these two frames, okay? So, uh, now if I choose this guy, and let's take a look at rotations, where are we? We are here. And you see the problem, I think, because this keyframe should go back to this keyframe, maybe. Even here is okay, here is not okay. So if I delete these two keyframes and scoop through the timeline. Scrub through the timeline. Hey, we have it again. So what's the deal here? Let me see which direction are we rotating that leg. Am I not rotating? Come on, I choose the rotate tool. Ah. So, local. So, we are rotating it on the Y, okay? We have the problem on Y. It seems like that. But hey, I don't have any problem on Y in here. So what's the deal here? Maybe if I delete the X. No. Still jerkiness. Now, <clears throat> let me tell you this. You won't be able to clean this stuff anymore on here because control rigs are a bit different than uh, your normal bone system you would you won't be able to clean it like this so 56 to 5068 550 uh -huh. Zero, let me write that down. 560 to 568. <clears throat> because that's the only issue we have now. Now, what I will do is that now that I cleaned it a lot, I'll bake that back into the skeleton, okay? Now, if we take a look at frame 130 or something that we had the problem hey we don't have any jerkiness here but again 
560. Here we go. Okay. So that's the only problem remaining. Now, if I select the bone itself and take a look at its rotation, here we go. I can see the jump clearly. If I delete it, now if I scrub, hey, we don't have that jump there anymore, at least. But we have some other jumps. This guy. Nah, no. This guy. No. Yes. So delete it. And bam, we are clean and we are ready to roll. Here we go. So. And remember, because the second character is still following this one, she would be cleaned again. So let's take a look at the animations from start to the end. Hopefully it won't freeze anymore. <laughs> it freezed right at the start. Come on, sorry. Oh no, she's not following her again uh, so I plot this guy again to the control rig again there we go we watch them side by side huh what happened to Mia she should follow the character None character and let's go. Yeah, okay. So as you can as you see, I don't get any weird stuff anymore. If I encounter any one of those stuff again, I will clean this file and again export the motions from there. So, uh, that's the bulk of it. I mean, if you know that the most uh, cleaning shouldn't happen on the uh, control rig, I mean, look at the control rig, we couldn't solve the issue on the heap on the control rig until I baked it on the skeleton and I cleaned just two, 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 two keyframes, sorry, and we, are, we were golden. Now, if I encounter any kind of weird issue again, uh, let me see, I think I captured some things here. Yeah. Here we go. But this is not really a uh, jerkiness because she's putting her feet on the rock to climb up. It's not a jerkiness. I thought that was the problem. So she's climbing. Ah, it's hard. She climbs too high, if you ask me. She stands, she goes down, she falls, 
And she uses his, her hand. No, we are golden. Okay, so this is the way you clean your files. First, get rid of all those 160 or uh, wrist rotations by just simply plotting your character, your source character, on a control rig. Okay? And choose the I FK, IK, and that would solve half of the issue by itself. If you have the hip jump before baking on the control rig, select your uh, root bone there, or you should look at me up here, that bone, because most of the time your up and down jerkings are because of these bones um, Y or Z uh, translate. And you would easily, easily see that jumpiness in Y if you follow it. For example, if she wasn't on the FKIK, let me see if I can see the bones and hide this guy and hide the con. Come on, I don't, I don't want to see the controllers. Eh. It won't let me choose the bones. I think. Ah, go one up. Okay. And if I look at the translate Y, you see, you you see all those type of uh, movements. If you have a character jumping on the Y and as jerking, not as something like climbing a cliff, you would see a sharp point like here going all the way up. And you would just delete one keyframe there and you are golden. Or bunch of the keyframes, for example, dragging them like this and hitting the delete key will solve the issue. And that's all. Then you can bake your character and get uh, rid of those rolling systems. Sometimes, if you have one of those, uh, those files that motion capture the, the devices that are dependent on the foot pressure, then you look at the foot here, it's not sliding, okay, it's stationary, cleanly stationary, but sometimes your foot slide. The way to get rid of them is just to put a null on the bone and then parent constraint that bone to the null and because the null has no keyframe, the bone will stay put in the place and again you would be golden. Now, in next episode, I promise I have the final episode on Motion Builder. And that's about this character itself, because this is the character I will put into motion into Unity. And as you can see, this character is one of those uh, types of animations that all kind of animations are done in one take. We don't want that. As we, I spoke in the first episode and second episode, we want her motions on different takes so that our, our job would be easier. In the next episode, I will show you guys how to take this girl and uh, split her animations in different takes, okay? But for time being, we are done with Mia. So I'll just open a SIN browser. No, stay, stay here, okay? That's good. And I'll select Mia, select branches, and uh, we should not select the character. You see, I, I see that it's selecting the character. That's because the Mia character is dependent on that. Put it to, to none. Then I select Mia, select branches, and uh, what if I delete this? Okay, yes to all, yes to all, yes to all, yes to all. Delete character, yes to all, yes to all, yes to all, yes to all. And you see our character is on here but her motions are 
okay even in frame 100 come on yeah frame 131 where are you Here we go. We don't have ah. Yeah, we don't have that jerk and 560. No, no problem. So our character is clean now and ready for, to roll. I have no characterization on her. I lost both characters but it seems that before uh, deleting it just baked the animations on the skeletons so hey I'm, fr I'm in frame zero why are not you in the T pose you know you had a T pose on frame zero hey what's going on okay control Z control Z control Z here we go. We have Mia back. Now, what's the dependency in here? Mm, okay, Mia. None. And in Windows Scene Browser. Mia. Select branches. Oh, I think I got this guy too. <laughs> anyway, now if I delete them, okay. Yes to all, yes to all, yes to all. There we go. And I can delete the character. And oh, now it's hard to tell. Character is using control rig, so this one is for Mia. Delete this guy. Okay. Now, if I go to frame 0a, you had a T-pose. What happened to T-pose? Negative 1. No? I had a T-pose. Um, uh, now I'm not happy. What just happened to your T-pose? Oh. Oh, 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 I think I know what happened. Ah, that happens when you just bake things and you are not in the correct timeline. So, going back, yeah, be careful about that because uh, when when you go back on the baking options, then things can happen. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. And I can't go back anymore. Hmm. What if I go to a negative one? Yeah, I, I lost her typos, but I didn't lost her animation, I think. No, I didn't lose her animation. At least that's what I hope. No. Or if you think you lost any animations, you can go into none. Ah, sorry. Character and in, into none. Now she should be in yo what's the problem hey anyway i can easily now put her on t pose because i have the control rig now i can just select this with up like this 
and I should be in global. Move her hand up all the way. And now if I rotate it a bit, there we go. One hand in hip pulsate. Move it up, out. Mm. There we go. <clears throat> now this, this you can do all of these on the on this frame, or you can simply bake it on your skeleton and then tweak the skeleton to her T pose. But seriously, I don't think I will do it in this episode because you had seen it. Anyway, let's. Uh, delete the Mia and this and this and delete this wall. There we go. We have our character. And now I can select my character and bake to skeleton and bingo. Now I'm frame uh, zero, I remember. They had the T pose on frame zero. And I, hey, let's do it quickly. Let's do it quickly. Why not? Window uh, property view. and move you somewhere that you can duck come on duck somewhere for me there we go now I'll select this and uh, can't I zero it like this no zero 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 This is zero, 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 zero. Now I'm sure that the foot uh, is. Come on, move. Why don't you move? Hey! Hmm. I said move zero. And there is another bone on top of that, yeah. Zero, zero, and I think this should be 90. What the hell? Why can't I? Move you. Okay, if I put negative 10 here. Hmm. I should move it. I can move it here, but I can move it in yeah front still not in the position and please x-ray and uh, can't I have wireframe somewhere where was it anyway negative 20 and I think we are in center now and zero out the rotation yep we are in center okay now I had put the foot 
on if I open the send view I think I can zero out things there where is it it's in browser come in handy now I can zero rotations here good zero rotations here zero rotations here now I have this guy zero rotations why don't follow the rules set zero 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 and the character is starting to obey ah no control z okay this should be zero 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 the nice thing about this character is that she came from Maya and the guy who rigged it uh, zero the transformation and rotation before assigning a skin bone so you can easily just put zeros on all of them you know like this then select the neck and the head and zero all of them and bingo you are in t-pose okay but uh, if you look from the top no they are golden okay so perspective perspective our foot are barely on the floor not bad okay so I start to select the bones that I tweaked and this center bone is pain to select anyway uh, we got them all and uh, now I just need to put a keyframe key controls on all of them so key please so now if I move my timeline whoa 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 what happened now what the hell just happened Ah. Now this is funny. Ooh. Didn't we have keyframe on frame one? Yeah. So, one, two, hmm. Meh, beats me. Anyway, I clean the file again from scratch without saving on top of it because honestly, it's just a baking and deleting two keyframes but you got the point you got the picture of what's going on and here we go i i'm surprised because the character is in t pose and in frame one bam anyway so let me just finish the job huh why not so we are in character bake control rig again bake 
skeleton. Now X-ray, select this bone, window, F-curve, come on F-curve, and uh, was it rotation Y, I think? Yeah, here we go. Delete this guy, and we are golden, I think, as much as I remember. Now let's just preview the file. Make sure everything works okay. Yep. Everything's work okay. I think I got some weird things happening here on her tail. Maybe I'm wrong. It's really hard to tell like this. Normal. Oh, I missed the head rotation here. Ha, ah, okay. Good to know. X-ray. Where is the F-curve? Come on. Uh, rotation Y. No. X, no. Z, no. So, where is that? Am I selecting the neck or I'm selecting the wrong one? Hmm. Okay. And we are rotating around Y. Yeah, I'm looking at Y. Come on, here. Come on, duck somewhere for me. No, not there. Meh. Taking a look at Y from closely. Um, what's these keyframes drop? Is it this bone? Or is it this bone? No, it doesn't have any rotation on Y at all. And because it's an X. Come on, we have keyframes there. Hmm, interesting. Okay. So there is one bone at least that is rotating drastically. I should find it. Or what about this guy? Yeah, here we go. Found them. You see? A jump. A very big jump. And if I delete these. Come on, don't, don't be picky on me. Yep, we solved it. Okay, so now that I know the head is problematic sometimes, I'll take a look at the curve. No, that was the only jump. Okay, we are golden.
we are happy to go, we are ready to go, and uh, bam, we have typos. And the character is unknown because it's baked on the skeleton. So I can easily now select Mia and select all branches and the control rigs because I don't have any control rigs again and no characters and delete them okay but no uh, no 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 okay what about our character? Is she okay yet? Yeah, she's okay. Now if I remove Mia. Yes. You're still golden, but you can see <laughs> her skeleton on floor. No problem there. I remove her later. Uh, and our character delete. Yes and we are still golden so now we are select branches and delete and we have a clean file now that can i have the model without okay i didn't want the question marks anyway uh yep we have the clean character now it's already ready for the animation <clears throat> separation in takes I'm really happy about what's going on I'm really happy about the result and uh, <clears throat> I hope you guys enjoyed this episode it was a bit longer than the previous ones sorry but uh, honestly uh, cleaning the mocap file is sometimes time consuming and that's all about experience you would sometimes uh, encounter with the character that uh, with all the experience you have you would sit down and think sometimes for minutes to know how to clean it anyway hope you guys enjoyed this episode have fun, everybody, and bye-bye.